The end of the dinosaurs is one of the biggest mysteries in paleontology. Was it the infamous meteorite that struck the Yucatan Peninsula offshore Mexico, or was it a volcanic eruption known as the Deccan Traps in India halfway around the world? Now this wasn't just any volcanic eruption, it was a large igneous province, which basically means it erupted over a colossal area for nearly 800,000 years. So quite naturally, that would cause a lot of problems on the surface. In this wonderful paper, I found it fascinating how the researchers found out the answer. And just a shout out to Gregory Price. He was one of my lecturers back in Plymouth when I was doing my undergrad. So it's just great to see him working on some research as groundbreaking as this. Now I know all of my followers aren't geos out there, so I'm gonna try and make this as simple to understand as possible. There are two prime suspects for the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction, which marked the end of the dinosaurs. A giant meteorite and a volcanic eruption. Now this paper focused on how the Deccan traps affected the Earth's climate the preceding 100,000 years before the extinction event. This would give us a better understanding as to whether it was the meteorite or the volcanic eruption which caused the demise. To do this, the scientists focused on fossilized peat or lignite from the western side of the United States, in these two areas. And even though these two areas are separated by 750 kilometers, they showed very correlatable results. Here's what they discovered. Around 100,000 years before the extinction, Earth's climate was increasing upwards, around three degrees Celsius. Why? Well, carbon dioxide from the Deccan Trap volcanic eruptions. More carbon dioxide, more greenhouse gas effect, therefore higher temperatures. Then, around 30,000 years before the extinction, there was a short brief period of cooling. This is a two to five degrees Celsius decrease. Now you might ask, how and why? Well, firstly, it lasted around 10,000 years, so it was rather short and acute. But it happened because of sulfur dioxide turning into aerosols in the atmosphere. These sulfate aerosols blocked out sunlight, triggering a cooling event. And then after the cold snap, it went back to what the warming temperature was around three degrees Celsius. And this lingered around for the next 20,000 years until you guessed it, the meteorite struck. So there wasn't a dramatic increase in temperatures because of volcanism, it went back to what it was previously, therefore implying that the Deccan traps were not responsible for the extinction of the dinosaurs. So yeah, we can conclusively say that the Chicxulub impact crater, the asteroid, was responsible for killing off the dinosaurs. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.